Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And talking of Windows 11, we have an advancement today showing us that uh, we are moving ahead at a fast pace towards the official Windows 11 release uh, some point this fall. Uh, lots of uh, internal documentation from Intel and different manufacturers have kind of said that, well, we're expecting October. So Microsoft itself is still sticking to the later this year with uh, OEM machines around holidays and Windows 11 to Windows 10 users early next year. Um, we'll see how it goes because the documentation isn't clear in a way that it actually tells us that October, but that could simply mean that internally OEMs or manufacturers of PCs will be getting Windows 11 ready for their computers around October, ready for the holiday season. So it's, you know, any, anybody's guess, it, it could come out in October. It could come out only with new machines around Christmas. Uh, and we'll see for the Windows 10 part. Uh, Microsoft is still holding on to uh, early next year. But what changed today? So the dev channel was where it was tested right now, which is the channel that is kind of the more dangerous channel, if you want, for Windows tests. And it was at uh, build 22,100. Well, today, July 29th, it's interesting because it coincides with the um, sixth anniversary of Windows 10, which is it a coincidence or is it just, you know, kind of a, a hint of, <laughs> well, here we are, 29th of July, six years later, let's do this. So anybody that wants to test out Windows 11, we talked about it. It's on the Insider Rings. Uh, you have to go to the Insider Program for this uh, in the um, Windows Update. Do not download any Windows 11 image or installs that you see on the web. You're going to get caught by malware. There's a lot of it going on. The way to go to Windows 11 for those that want to take the chance and want to try it out is through the Insider Program that you go through your settings, Windows updates, and in the bottom left of um, your Windows 10 settings and Windows updates, you will see Windows Insider Program. So if you go into Windows Update, even though here it's um, in Windows 11, you'll see the same thing that says Windows Insider Program, but it's going to be here at the bottom left, and you will be uh, asked to um, join, and you need a Microsoft account. What's changed? beta channel is now getting it today. So what are the differences? The dev channel is that place where we're testing, but where the tests are more um, dangerous because we're testing builds and features and stuff that is a little more advanced. Beta channel is where it's safer. So for those that are wondering, you know, is it better there yes beta channel technically should be safer have less bugs and problems that said there's a big list of bugs in windows 11 when you look at the uh, list for insiders for uh, at the blog post so 22,000.100 is what's going to the beta channel but what does that mean also is that because it's moving now to the beta channel already july 29th that means we're getting pretty close to what will eventually be Windows 11 release. Of course, it's still months away, but beta channel testing means we're not that far away. And Windows 11, apart from a few features that are yet to appear, including the Android apps through the Amazon Store, is um, very close to completion. You see a lot of people saying, well, you know, you don't know what you're talking about. There's so much more to do. There isn't. Windows 11 is already very close to what it will be this uh, when it's released. Only a few things and, of course, the bugs to be fixed. That's why it's still in the Insider Preview builds. But that definitely means we're getting much closer to Windows 11. Um, no word yet as to some of the changes, of course, of 
what will accept or not Windows 11 and the minimum requirements. Is the seventh gen going to be added to the list uh, rather than eighth generation or later? So that's there's still no news there, and uh, those that were not compatible in the uh, beta channel were all moved to the release preview to continue testing out the uh, Windows 10 uh, updates for bug fixes and stuff like that. So a step closer uh, as we're moving on towards Windows 11 eventually later this year. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.